What's up, my YouTube brothers and sisters? This is Rockbuff43. Um, giving you an update on my <laughs> outing today. Uh, but before I get into it, uh, I want to give my man uh, Snoozy RC a um, shout out. Thanks for um, clearing some things up for me, bro. Um, I don't want to be giving out false information. Uh, my definition for the slipper clutch was a little uh, off. Um, the slipper clutch is designed to um, relieve some of the stress on the smaller gears in your uh, diff box, your planetary gears, but it does not uh, distribute any powers to the wheels. It's just to help keep the stress off of your drivetrain. That's what the slipper clutch is for. Um, um, like I said, Snoozy RZ, RC pointed that out to me. Um, that's what I like about YouTube, and I appreciate it. Uh, <clears throat> you know, in the future, I'm going to make sure that uh, I'm on top of everything when I go to explain things. Um, you know, still a good learning process. So, like I said, you know, good looking out, Snoozy RC. Uh, <clears throat> but <laughs> it looks like my uh, little streak continued. Uh, my little bad luck streak. Um, the issue I'm having with Orange Sickle is traction now. Uh, the place where I ran it today, the asphalt is a little different from where I was before. The asphalt where I was before was kind of rough, um, and it seemed to grip a little better there. Uh, this new place, it was uh, more of a smoother finish. Um, so I guess I'm going to have to play around with my tire compound until I figure this thing out. Um, I ain't going to lie. I was so frustrated earlier today that I was about to just pull the plug on our sickle. But um, I'm going to keep trying. Uh, you know, the wrestler was where it started with the speed run. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep trying to accomplish my goal. Um, <clears throat> if you see there, I bust the front, uh, A arm. Um, I do have the other ones, so, it, you know, ain't no big deal. And also, uh, bust one of my posts off the back. Um, so, uh, that's an easy fix as well. I was able to find the post, and I have another one of these, uh, these, uh, mounting brackets, so... That's no big deal. Um, I'll go ahead and take care of that. I actually have three spots to run now, and they're all half decent. But now it's you know going over there and doing some test runs and getting the right tire compounds and all that stuff and the right weight to keep it you know on the ground. Uh, like I said, I was kind of bummed. I was really looking forward to doing some stuff and like this X3. You know, it's a new car, so. Uh, you know, I got to find out the ins and out of, outs of it. I was going to go for the Max Amps Club, 70 Club, 70 Mile an Hour Club, and got out there, put my <laughs> just a, I, I'm just going through some serious bad luck, but I got out there, put the uh, force L in, was ready to go. Um, I take it, take the car down. If you see right here, this is where the, uh, Dog bone holder goes. Uh, the, the bearings pushed out a little bit. I think I may have messed up the uh, insert, so I might have to get another insert in the bear or the dog bone holder and another um, dog bone for the center shaft. Um, put the battery in. It was all ready to go, and you know, like I said in earlier videos. I, I do love the performance of the car when it is running right, but uh, again, it's a new RC, so I'm going to be finding out things along the way. Um, you know, as you know, these cars are not made for speed runs in the first place. They're made for touring like, a, you know, um, racing on uh, courses, so um, us putting the speed run putting them for speed runs is putting a lot of stress on the uh on the components so you know I, i'm working to figure out uh 
things to make it more durable. I'm hoping, you know, that they come out with some, you know, upgraded, uh, cause you know, Afna hardly has any upgraded parts, but I hope they come up with some, out with some, uh, upgraded dog bones and stuff like that. I'll be looking into it along the way, trying to figure something out. Um, but until then, I just gotta, you know, keep messing with it and hopefully one day I'll be able to accomplish what I want to accomplish with it. Um, I'm going to rebuild, like I said, at first I was just going, you know, just fix uh, Orange Sickle up and be done with it, but like I said, I don't want to quit, you know, that's not a good message to send, plus, like I said, this is the Pioneer car, that's where the speed run started, so I want to, I want to at least try to crack 100, um, you know, once I get this thing, you know, to where it's sticking to the ground, I should be able to get real decent numbers, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep messing around with it and see what happens, as, as well as the X3, so I just wanted to let y'all know that I'm still out there crashing, um, but uh, hopefully real soon I'll uh, straighten the problems out and get some real runs for a change, um, so thanks for watching, uh, I'm going to go order some parts and for my X3 and hopefully you know do it again next weekend um, these places that I got I'm gonna have to run on Sundays because they're empty there's nothing going on on over there at all didn't have to look over my shoulder for no cars so that's a good thing and it's three spots it's all it's a huge industrial park and there's just it's three spots over there so I'll be probably moving back and forth between the spots to see what works best for me and then you know use the one I like the best so Thanks for watching. Till the next video. Peace.